Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be building a 1993 Toyota Supra from the Too Fast, Too Furious movie. So anybody who is familiar with the franchise will know this is the gold Supra from the, I think it's the first race scene of that, of that movie. And uh, this is a thing of beauty. And it would be criminal not to make this video. Now we have to think of just a classic in GTA Online. And uh, especially with the with deliveries we have available and the customizations we also have available for this car. So without any further ado, guys, I'm just going to crack on with this. So if you do want to follow me on this build, go and purchase yourself a Dinka Jester Classic from Legendary Motorsports. Meet me in LS Customs and I'll show you how to do the rest. Right, so here we go, my bros. We're now in LS Customs, as you can see. And we're going to start, as always, with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes. For the bumper, we're going to go front bumper to start. And we're going to go with this drift bumper i think that's probably the best one to go with it looks mean as fuck to be honest and the car in the film has quite a simple looking bumper to be honest it's quite clean um and i think out of all the choices that we've got the drift bumper is the best choice so we're going to go with that one for the rear bumper you just want to stay stock then we're going to move to the chassis and we are going to grab this uh secondary cage only because the car in the film has white bucket racing seats, you know, and these are standard black seats. So these are nothing like what we need. And these are halfway there because they're, they're racing bucket seats. They're just red instead of white. So that is unfortunate, um, but it's closer to what the stock seats are. So I'm going to go with the race seats with the secondary cage. For the engine, you want to get a level four engine upgrade. The exhaust, we're going to get the single chrome exhaust. So next we come to the headlight covers. I was unsure whether to purchase these or not. Um, I don't think we need them, to be honest, because this is an, uh, you know, an older style of Supra. The headlights were generally a little bit larger than obviously the mo more modern versions of it. Um, <laughs> you know, that, that does look very close to what we need uh, but that also looks good as well so I think they're maybe a little bit too low and they're a little bit too long we kind of need something in the middle between this and this uh, but obviously we can't get that so I think I'm just going to stay with the no headlight covers for this one just keep it stock I think that looks pretty sweet next we've got the fender we're going to grab the rear spats then we're going to go to the hood you want to get the performance hood so next we've got the livery the main part of this build um, obviously we've got the 10 minute car right there so that's from the orange Supra if you haven't seen that video already go to my last video and uh, check that out it's, it's a pretty nice build very very close to the real life one from the fast and the furious but we're here for too fast too furious Supra and we're going to need this slapdash livery and uh, it doesn't look identical but it looks really really good you can definitely tell exactly what it's supposed to be so now we're going to move on to the respray. We're going to go primary color to start and into classic. The reason I'm going to go into classic, like I say in all my videos, with cars with liveries, you don't really want to be using a, a metallic paint job because you get a pearlescent shine on the paintwork, but you also get the pearlescent um, shine on the livery as well, which is no good in my opinion. I, I think it looks a little bit funky. Um, so I always opt to go with a classic color on a car which has a livery. Just my opinion, my preference. If you prefer to go with a metallic, like I've already said, your car, your build, go for it. Do what you like. But once you're in here, once you've got your classic paint job, we are going to... I don't know whether to go with bronze. Bronze actually looks really close, to be honest. Whereas the gold actually looks a little bit dull. It looks a little bit silvery, if anything. Uh, the bronze paint job in classic actually looks a little bit more gold, funnily enough. So I'm going to go with the primary color classic bronze for that. And also we're going to go into the secondary colour, also into classic and purchase bronze. So we do get an option for trim colour. I think I'm going to go in here and when you change the trim colour you can see that it does change the stitching on the steering wheel. Also the door card material there and the stitching in the seats. So I'm going to go with white for the trim colour. Then we're going to move on to the side skirts. You want to purchase these primary lip skirts. Next we've got the spoiler. Now I, I did look through these spoilers already and we don't really have... Uh, you know a perfect spoiler for this car for this build should i say uh because there are they're, they're like crazy big wings like this which we definitely don't need then we've got the smaller carbon wings which, again we definitely don't need it is more similar to this um but a little bit closer to that's probably the best one but it's a little bit low you know that's, that's just really annoying because the one in the film has a really high spoiler and it's shaped very similar to this one but it's a mid-level spoiler it's a shame the high level spoiler i mean this is obviously supposed to be 
you know the classic super spoiler so i'm happy that we've got this but maybe if we had another option which looked more like this but a taller version of it that would have been perfect for this build but because we haven't got that i thought i'm gonna go with this high level spoiler i i know it's not perfect for what we need um but i think it, it looks the best out of what we've got for to, you know for this build um, it is unfortunate, like I've already said, but it's either going to be this mid-level spoiler or this high-level spoiler. It's as simple as that. All the others are just definitely no good. Um, and because this high-level spoiler is obviously a little bit higher, I'm I, I'm in favour of going with this one. I think. Yeah, yeah, I th yeah. I'm definitely going to go with it. I'm going to go with a high-level spoiler. Next, we're going to move to the suspension. We're going to get the race suspension, transmission. We're going to get race transmission and turbo tuning. So next you want to go to the wheels, guys. You want to go into wheel typing into sport. Uh, we're going to go chrome because the ones in the film look very much like chrome. Uh, the ones in the film, they're, they're really unique looking. It's hard to describe what they're actually like. They're, they're multi-spoked. Very similar to these, actually, uh, but not exactly like these. I think we can find something a little bit better. Maybe not necessarily in the sports category. They might also be in the SUVs. They actually look quite close. Um, yeah, they actually look really good, actually, the Venoms. Obviously not identical, uh, but they're, be they're the best ones I've seen so far. So Venom are on the list of maybes at the moment. Um, like I was saying, we can also go into... Ah, no. These are the ones. These are exactly what we need. I wouldn't say they were perfect, but they are very, very close. They're called or Organic Type Zero, and they're the ones you're going to need because they're really close, man. I'm actually quite surprised on how close they are. So yeah, like I said, Organic Type Zero purchase them up baby and last but not least to finish off the build as always you are going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my bros there is my variation of the 1993 toyota supra from too fast too furious and of course it is night time and i've missed something out i need to turn this motherfucker back round because i have missed something quite glaring out I, somehow i've just completely skipped past the lights and it's just as well it was night time because otherwise i wouldn't have noticed um, me missing out Delivery, um, not delivery, the neon colour. We need a neon glow, man. How the fuck did I miss that? Ah, uh, I know what I've done. I've gone from hood. Got excited about delivery and jumped straight to that. But we need to go to the lights, headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Also a neon kit, front, back and sides. And funnily enough, it's already green. But we need a lime green for this. Really weird. I had to double check this when, um, because I was pretty sure that this had a, a neon colour. Um, or a neon glow underneath. But I've... I've for some reason, I thought it was like a, a yellowy gold, which obviously would go a lot nicer with this vehicle. But no, it is green, weirdly enough. And now this build is complete. So let's get back on the streets and have a little look at it in all its glory. Well, maybe not all its glory because it's fucking night time. But it still looks awesome. And uh, like I've said in previous videos already on this Think of Jester Classic, I'm so happy that Rockstar have actually <laughs> taken this away and change loads on it and then give it back to us in this state because we now have a Supra in GTA with Fast and the Furious liveries man and this is my second Supra build from the Fast and the Furious franchise obviously Too Fast Too Furious it is the gold Supra from the first race and uh, man it, I'm just really happy the way this has turned out it's not as I don't think it's, it's as good as the, the orange one um, from my last video I think the orange one is still the, the number one out of the two but this still looks awesome man it still looks really really good um, in my opinion of course I mean if you if you guys agree smash that like button why the fuck not and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content and I think I'm going to the video on that note I think that's a good way to end <laughs> thanks for watching guys I'm out adios